Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So on today's episode I decided to share with you another green smoothie and this time around it's going to be a kiwi based green smoothie. So here are all the ingredients you're going to need. I'm going to share with you the amounts while I place it into the blender. So that's the fruits and the spinach that you're going to need to make this smoothie and as well as you're going to need some of this oat milk or you can use any kind of milk you prefer, but I do find that I like the taste of oat milk, so you really can try it out and see if you like it as well. And oat milk makes it a little bit healthier, I find. So this is ingredients to make smoothie at two full glasses like this, so for two people. Okay, so let's start and take our blender, and I'm using the Vitamix blender today. So let's just start placing the ingredients inside the blender. So I'm gonna start by placing the kiwis. And these are, so for two people, I'm using three kiwis and these are pilled. So I remove the skin. You can also blend it with the skin, but I find that you can kind of taste that um, fuzziness from the skin. I don't like it, so I just put it like this. Um, we're also going to use half of a lemon. And this is just a peeled piece of lemon as well. And you're also going to need some grapes, and I do like to use green grapes in this since we're making a green smoothie. So we're going to place the grapes in here, and for two people I use about 15 to 20 grapes depending on their size. So like really like a handful of grapes. And then we're going to add a whole bunch of spinach. So this is about two handfuls of spinach. Of course, spinach is very good for you, has a lot of iron and health benefits, so really pack the spinach in there. And just because we want to make it a smoothie and we want it cold and have a nice consistency, I just have one and a half frozen bananas that I just peel and place in a Ziploc bag in my freezer and I always have them on hand, it's very convenient. So we're just going to add that and I usually wait for my bananas to ripen a little bit just so they're more sweet so I don't add any sugars or any kind of sweet things in there. And of course, when you're making a smoothie, you always need to add something liquid. Um, so today, instead of adding water, I decided to add some oat milk for some nice taste. So I usually go ahead and add about a third of the blender of milk. You can do about half of a blender, depending how smooth and runny you want it to be. But I find that for me, about a third, it's closer to a third to a half of a blender of milk is good enough. So that's all the ingredients placed in a blender. So now let's just go ahead and blend it. Okay, so of course the Vitamix comes with a tool like this that just helps you push the items around so they start to blend up faster. It also helps to push down the frozen bananas. So I really like this blender, it's very nice. The smoothie is now ready, so let's just pour it into a glass. I'm just using a glass like this today. So let's just pour it in here and look how beautiful it is. A green smoothie, beautiful green color very healthy for you hope you enjoy it it is it tastes really really nice even my two-year-old likes to drink this because it is actually delicious but also has a bunch of healthy benefits because you're putting all these greens in here as well as you're eating a lot of kiwi this way and kiwi is really good for you as well so thank you so much for watching like always cheers to your health and i'll see you next time thank you bye